Man, this game loves its epic music. The game's definitely all about trying to be real cool. Hey, Insomnia. Gotcha. I'll be live in a couple minutes. I just gotta wait on this to finish heating up. Hmm. Yeah, this definitely doesn't seem to be a big seller, and I don't, I don't think it has crossplay. I don't remember them saying anything about that. Few more minutes. Wouldn't be surprised if this is the type of game that ends up on Game Pass, yeah. It is surprisingly fun to play, and it's got co-op, so it's, you know, a good candidate for that, especially because it does not seem to be selling well. I mean, it's been, what, a year and a half since it's been out on PlayStation, so... You gotta be a really big game, like Final Fantasy VII Remake, to, uh... Overcome being off a system that long and in that game I doubt it seems unlikely it ever comes I, I think Sony is very happy to keep paying Square whatever they have to to make Final Fantasy a, a quotation marks exclusive I gotta watch the video with those uh, new Halo maps too I can check those out later 
another minute. It's been a while since I played, uh, I streamed something on Xbox. Look, look, it's an Xbox. Yeah, I still have one of these. Hello. I gotta make chat a little bigger. Chat's too small. Yeah, I can actually read it. All right, we still got the sub goal up here. Been at 12 for a while, I can't. 12 is great. It'd be cool to hit 20 at some point. I doesn't feel like that gets in the way. So I'll leave it, I'll put it down for now. Now we got the Dorito Pope in the old position. I have to move everything because I'm at a bigger canvas now. I got a Happy Jeff, gotta move him back down. But you had me at Halo logo for when I was doing a Halo thing. That's it, that's all I've got on here. But all right, hello. Happy Friday. I hope everyone's doing real well. This showed up in my email last night. I had been, I had requested well before launch, um, but I can't complain. They eventually got one to us. So yeah, I was playing quite a bit of this last night. Um, the tutorial stuff's pretty boring, uh, which I think most people would agree on. So you guys get to skip the boring stuff and go right to the fun. Uh, the story in this game doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't, it's not the star. It's not what you're here for. But uh, yeah, OBM just seems to only want action. So, I mean, she's quite something. a simple man of simple tastes. So he's probably gonna be annoyed. She's a living being, This game's really weird. It looks very nice. Like texture works pretty solid. The hair looks terrible there, but. You know, you texture works solid, um, animations are good. I, I have not wanted to touch the resolution mode. I don't care about freaking nicer reflections. I'm not going to dirty FPS. But um, as you unlock more and more of the gameplay in this, it's very fun. Are you Saurus? I have no idea. I don't remember anyone's name because this game... Okay, yes. to their treasure cache in the alluvial plains. Good work, Saurus. Of course, Commander. Anything to help. Pretty much the story of this game is uh, your brother wants to become a god and you're fighting each other and they don't give you any backstory and you have no idea what's going on and that's it. Now I've got some, this guy here to make weapons. It's a looter game. There's lots of loot. Uh, the ultimate edition comes with all these legendary blades. So it kind of your beginning loot is kind of useless for a little while. Some of these are pretty nice though. They, they're starting to get pretty good. Lots of epic music, lots of epic looks. Like it's a, this is a very metal game. I've rekindled the forge. Gah. Upgrade your equipment with resources to improve your stats. So I am going to go to uh, a camera that's got nothing on it. No ta no chatter, me or anything. Just so I could have this, you know. This game really deserves 4K capture. I'm not gonna. Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna do 1080p capture for the review because I am obviously playing this for review because that's why they sent it to us. So, ah, I have a lot of upgrade material, huh? I will upgrade you, legendary sword. I've been using a lot. Sure, can upgrade you five times. You now do a little bit more DPS. And I'm going to start marking all this old stuff for salvage. I was, I was wondering what the hell I do with all my old gear. Because, Jesus Christ, I picked up a lot of random mass weapons. I got they, they give you a lot of uh, stuff. I figures I just upgraded that one. Now I'm noticing I can use this level 5 weapon. Alright, and salvage marked items. 
I'm just gonna hold gotta hold everything in this. Lots of hold to use. Flap. There. I got a lot less friggin' spam on me. Spam. Okay, well I upgraded you. Time to unequip you because I'm very smart. Some real cool looking weapons in this game. I don't really want to use two great swords. Fine, I'll put you back on here. Um pretty basic skill tree. Uh, each node unlocks as you unlock one next to it. So I'm sure there's something that's like really freaking useful and good, but I don't know. Pressing A while you made a basic slide, increase your movement. Yeah. The corners definitely seem to be the big things, really. Yeah. So I gotta get this one next. Um, it's just a big, dumb, heavy, powerful action game. I will talk to you, weird floating head you triumvirate him. lady. You'll be useful. He's also a friend of yours. Oh, that's funny. Geez, seven years and they still had you on a list. I only have time for those we find useful. Perhaps. Usefulness comes after care, Oren. What I care about is defeating Macros. If Xenon can help us do that... Naming the bad guy Macros is... You're not weird choice. A resourceful scout. He's identified a cache of Valorian... I accept your plans. Alright. Seems to be a lot of maps. At least at the top, there's a lot there. But I'm still on Earth. Only a few hours in. To the Alluvial Plains. According to Zenun, there's a cache of old Valorian artifacts. I don't know what the story is in this game, and it really doesn't matter. Not even a little bit. That's cool. I miss Mixer. Mixer looked really nice. We're looking for weapons to add to our arsenal. The items are in the alluvial plains. Mark the weapon cache. The Vargul control these. So this is a really pretty game. Let us walk into their territory. It does have a favor we'll resolution mode. We need by force. But it like stutters and looks right. It looks really nice. But I mean, it's not. It's not like it. All of a sudden, you're. I don't think there's ray tracing. It's not in these puddles. They look weird, no matter what. Maybe. But, um... I'm not sure what the frame rate's at in favor resolution mode, and everything, like, kind of judders in a weird way. I do not like it. As where, um... Okay, was that on? Or off? I forget. This card changes. Yeah, the, uh, the favor performance mode looks and feels great. So smooth. I do not know what favor resolution's running at, but it feels weird. I don't really notice much of a difference. Like actual movement performance is clear because the better frame rate's clear. It's really like in so many of these things to tell a real difference between a resolution and a, a performance mode. Graphically, it's either going to be some popping in the back that you can notice during gameplay, or it's stuff you are only going to notice if you pause and then compare screenshots. Head to the watchtower. Oh. The alluvial plains phase nodes are there. If you've ever played Warframe, the way missions are set up here is not that different. It's like everything, they, they have these giant map areas, and everything's just set up in between these map areas. This game's about hard hitting. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. Those green orbs are the health pickups. The blue is a little bit of money. I don't know what you do with it. Some sort of currency. But yeah, this game's really about looking and feeling cool while having a really dumb story going on around you that you don't understand at all. Oh, 
far as I can tell, I don't think there's a lock-on mechanic. All right, finally freaking parried one. Jesus Christ. Oh, ow. Okay, that hurt. All right, you hold left trigger to do um, big, big old boy attacks. That use that meter down below in the bottom right, the ye upper yellow one. Ow. Boy, these guys have a Ow. And I'm dead. Remember, Oren. Not as good with the greatsword. I've not really used it before. Ow. Got my ass kicked. Bitch. Ow. God damn it. I just came back to life. I gotta remember to parry more. These guys are like, oh, can't parry that when it's red. Blah. Oh, god damn it, he jumped by me. Sandy bitch. block more often. Right bumper is main attack, right trigger is uh, heavy attack. The the light attacks build up that meter on people. Like that's a... Uh, you see like the, the white that goes over their health? And then right trigger will set that off. The, uh, the breaking mechanic, I think. Left bumper and... Uh, Right bumper will throw your shield, which hit him right in the head and stunned him. Felt real good. There's a lot to this game. Ooh. Cashback added five cashback for electric charge stations for cars. Into dusting. I'd love to have a hybrid, but we have what we have, and it's what we'll have for a while. Commander, ah. should I scout ahead? Not right now, Soros. Yes, sir. A lot. This game is very much, we set up a ton of combat arenas and you just run between them and you fight. And it's cool and it's fun, but it's not deep. Not at all. Not even close to deep. Like story-wise or setup-wise, level, level design-wise, nothing so far yet. Let's see how it goes. Chomp. Chomp. to get closer to the cash the Vargo were hoarding. But some of them, they must be veterans. Maybe some of them want to do. Ow. Could have dodged that. Oh, we got the breaker thing, so I hit him with the right trigger and blat! There he goes. You. Shit! Oh, he's dead. Parrying is super, uh. Super generous. to survive for nine more seconds. Can I do it? Yeah, I mean, I can. hey -ya, bitch! Ooh. It's hard work keeping up with the legendary Orin. An honor, Commander. You bet your dick it's an honor. Let's head into the alluvial plains. Yeah, there's a... Thankfully, I'm in a major city, so there's a lot of charge stations in Tampa. It's just actually being able to afford 
car. The, we have a Mazda 3 that's just about done being paid for. Never had an issue with it. Not one. Which means, of course, the moment it's done being paid for, it'll fall apart. Tell me about this place. The alluvial plains are dotted with ruins dating back to the unification. The Valorians kept several libraries here. Hmm. I've been playing this game for hours, and I have no idea what's going on. Point them out. And then my my brother's a dick who wants to become a god, and I gotta kill him. And I'm doing a bunch of cool fighting shit in the meantime. Okay, bitch. Stop teleporting. Other fucker. There, blow you up. What the hell? Oh. There's lots of like random cool shit that you gum that your gear will let you do and skills will let you do. So there ends up being quite a bit of um Cool stuff tied to your gear. Uh, I've seen some crazy builds people have made. Oh, I never changed this ring. So. Sure, I'm doing fire damage. So yeah, this is a, um, this is a build game. If you like your looters and making builds, it's supposed to be a pretty fun game for that whole end game to it but I think the end game they really want you to have co-op I know I've seen like you Somni and some other people talked about wanting to have someone to help them in the end game so yeah game's neat I think it's on sale for 30 bucks which is a well seems like a good price for the amount of content on here I'm like four hours in and barely scratched the surface but Oh, no, I'm like I'm more like two hours in. Yeah. Boop, boop. Shit. You're done. Goddamn void shit. I'm almost dead. I cannot get out of that. I was trying real hard to. Purple. Ow. Fuck your attack! Eat ass! Oh, I sunned him! Me! Eat shit. Got him. Alright, purple sword, what do you do? I'll try you out instead of this one I wasted upgrades on. Yeah, 44. Epic pole arm. I didn't use the pole arm yet. Woo! All right. And these chests point in a direction of a blue thing you got to break to open them. Ah, uh, I see you, blue thing I got to break. Oh, no, I don't. There it is. Now I see it. Ha! There's one down. I think these are like the Jasper and stuff or what you need to unlock more armor sets. Now my cat's on the table smelling my breakfast. All right, and then that direction. Ah, oh, there you are. I see you. Yeah. Chest is mine. Oh, wait. No, there's another one. God damn it. In that direction. Three. All right. Better have something good in you, chest. There it is. Boop, pop. Get it. This is just a... There's no jump button. B is your contextual jump. Like if you're trying to get over a gap or something. All right. What do you got for me, Chesty? Blue and a purple. A blue and a green. 
You got a lot of weapons, man. A lot of weapons. That's one of my issues I have with Borderlands, where it just feels like you're getting too much. Way too much. I don't think I've gotten a charm yet. No. Nor have I gotten a banner. Oh, I have gotten a banner. Never mind. There you go. That's a big upgrade. 101 of something. Um, a lot of this game just throws you in, and you have no idea what's going on. So you just enjoy the gameplay. And if the gameplay doesn't grab you, then it's not going to grab you. But if, you, if you're enjoying the gameplay, um, I'll mark you as favorite so I don't accidentally sell you at any point. Yeah, if, if you're enjoying the gameplay, then you're good. If you're not enjoying the gameplay, then there's nothing else here. It's pretty, but this story is uh, really terrible. Not in a bad way, though. Like, not in a annoying gets in the way way. Just confusing and forgettable. It's presented rather competently. Ow. Stop shooting me. I don't know how to use this weapon yet. It's very fun blowing people up. Well, I'm seeing good. A powerful creature has emerged. Uh oh. The ghost of this place. Sparta. Kratos is here. Power from the spirit realm. It will fall like the rest. And another weapon. Boy, they like their weapons in this game. So I normally eat before, but I woke up kind of late. Had a hard time going to sleep last night. Had a migraine and a half. They like healing you up and giving you all your um, ability juice before a boss fight. Very nice of them. I wasted my ability. I didn't realize it was so short. Wraith Lord Decimus. Enemies have really big attacks sometimes. They're really cool looking, but they're hard to fight. Ow! Eat shit, Wraith Lord. Fuck your Wraiths! I already killed another back. Blap! Ow. Ow! That thing. Ow! Oh, God damn it. My microphone's in the way. I can't see the bottom of my screen. One sec. Mm, boop. There we go. Now I can see the bottom of my screen. Ah! Oh, die. Or as they say in the business, Shine. Oh, there's no point in killing you, huh? Ow! God damn, you don't care when I'm charged up, do you? Uh, no! Ow! I only have one more healing thing. Son of a bitch! Fuck your cool attacks! Oh no, phase two. 
Stop reviving. Whoop, 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 whoop. It'd be cool if the enemies could actually hit each other, but I don't think they can. Ow. God damn it. Oh, we got no health. Jesus Christ, I'm literally one shot now. Grab a health. Thank you. I didn't grab it. I did grab it. Did he hit me as I grabbed it? God damn it. No. Fuck it. Clicked in my sticks together. Fight for me, Wraiths. Got you, bitch. Ah, bah! Oh boy, that was tough. I can't believe I actually survived that. Ah, damn! I was one hit for a while there. Oh, squat building. I think squad. Getting a devour, Bordellini Alfredo. Health food. Lots of healthy cheese and pasta. Mmm. A radiant pearl lifestone. Look at these things down here. More earth and breach damage. Hmm. Cheddar jalapeno. Vito sound good. No. Nope. Does the whole B to jump? It is. B is your contextual movement button. Pleasure. I got the weapon prickle. of your brother's war journal here. Hmm. Ah. He never missed a chance to revel in his glory. He really he loved leaving <laughs> friggin' I'll store these journals behind as he was in the middle of slaughtering thousands. Let's head to the Twilight Beacon. The Twilight Princess? Enigmatic Circle. This is a loot game. You, you're gonna have to do a lot of looting if you play it. I gain six polarity attack charge. The pola I think the polarity is when you swap weapons and then you do like a big ass thing around you, but I gotta double check that. I'm not doing bleed, so. Uh, it's it's a loot game, so I imagine you're just you're constantly changing loot as you play and level. There's no reason to hold on to things and wait. Oh, this blue one's actually more might. I got all these augments, but I don't know how to use them yet. The whole augment screen on Valor Plate isn't uh, is locked, so I'm sure that'll come with the uh, come with leveling. Let me finish breakfast here. Just one more bite. Be right back. Have a merch store. You can get shirts like this. Uh, XboxEra.com and click on store. We got a bunch of stuff up there. We were 
Okay, I don't know if it's there yet, but we're supposed to have a mug for this show that I wanted to get. Bringing coffee with Cabeza mug. But for some reason, they keep denying it. Yeah, nothing. Still not there. It even has a section for mugs because we made a mug for the site. But it still doesn't work. I got a message, John. They keep rejecting it as like a copyright thing, but it's ours. It's the design pre-drag made for this. This has been months in constant resubmissions and they keep accidentally flagging it. Oh, cool. I'll get my rogue. So I'm working on three reviews right now, which sounds like a lot, but I've got this one I'm doing now. I've got Rogue Legacy 2, which doesn't come out until the 28th. So I'm guessing the emb I don't know the embargo date on that one yet. Obviously, no embargo on this one. The embargo on this one was eight days ago. Um, so I got Rogue Legacy 2, which should be sometime closer to the 28th. I should know next week, I'd, I'd guess. Um, and I've got Ayudan Chronicles Rising, which is that action RPG prequel for the Ayudan Chronicles 100 whatever that's coming next year. Um, so yeah, the only, the only issue I have with Rogue Legacy 2 is I have mostly played it on freaking PC and I have so much footage and I've gotten so far in it. But they are going to send an Xbox code, and that would probably want to be my main thing, so I might just start all over again there. Keep the footage I have on PC, but then mostly just use the Xbox footage, because the Xbox footage is going to be 4K, and the PC footage is only going to be 2K. So the Xbox footage is just going to look better in that way. So yeah, actually, before I forget, I'm going to go into my Rogue Legacy 2 folder. Where I've got, oh my god, I have 34 gigabytes of video. I'm going to put PC footage as a folder. I have an entire 5 terabyte hard drive that's almost full of every video I've ever made. So there's 142 projects in here. Tells you how much I've freaking done for the site. And I've used three, just under three terabytes out of the 4.5 terabytes that are on this drive. <sighs> I've started getting way too, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting way too much footage. But I can't help it. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to miss anything, you know? And I, even with like friggin' Back for Blood, there were things I talked about and then realized, oh, I don't have any really good footage of this. So I had to go back in and get some footage. That Back for Blood one took off last night for some reason. 24 hours into being released, it went from 400 views to 2.8 thousand. And then it just completely stopped again. Yeah, what's it at now? I think it's, it's I think it's around, I think it just completely stopped after it got to like a little under 3k. Out of nowhere, yeah, it's at 2,850. And the comments are full of people being dicks. So now it says 2.9k is what it says. But yeah, for... For six hours last night, it was getting between one and 300 every hour. And now it's completely stopped. YouTube's so weird like that. I was expecting maybe three or 400 out of that because it's a small DLC for, you know, it's, it's the first expansion for a good game. But man, that's friggin'. You never know what's going to really take off on the site. Like Crusader Kings is well over 6,000 now. And I just did that one because it was coming to Game Pass. I was like, okay, I'll, I have no idea about this game. But I think that will also be something people are interested in hearing about. Because they might not know anything about the game. And now they're going to be playing it too. Because it's on Game Pass. So they, they just have it. I gotta say, the gameplay in this game is super goddamn fun. <laughs> it's very good. This is very fun, big, dumb melee gameplay. It looks nice. I The story is not offensive. It's just kind of all over the place, and you don't really get motivations and know what's going on. Sometimes you're just... It feels a bit... Um, thrown together. Sanctum, how complete are your archives? Not very. 
Oh, I'm done. Like, I had no idea that was even how I finish. Yeah, I forgot that's how you finish a level. Like. This is definitely a very different product than what they released. They've, they've done a ton of updates just nonstop. And it shows that there's an actual fun game here. Yeah. Lego Star Wars uh, Digital Foundry just did their tech breakdown. That game runs like shit on PlayStation. I'm very surprised. Especially with, with how much WB is... Um, here, if you want to watch that later, that's the Digital Foundry breakdown. With how much WB is partnering with Sony on... Um, like Hogwarts Legacy and stuff marketing, I'm very surprised at how terribly... Uh, Lego Star Wars runs on that platform. Hello, Ravenna. What's up? Orin, refugee efforts on Aperion have been attacked by <gasps> forces. Oh no! More random words. Ours, not yours. I will manage the evacuations. You stay focused. Okay. I don't get the story here. So all of these are different, like avatars of the gods, and your voice and everything matches to them. But you've got to find um, these. Crystalline Tears and Valor Plate Cores and stuff to be able to activate them. So right now I've got... They give you this one for free. So I could uh, go to this one. Boop. But they also all have their own loadouts, so you got to make sure you go in and... Make sure your gear matches what you're doing. Um... So, like, they each have their own thing that happens when... They have their own passives. That's, like, the real big thing. Air pace, epic. Yep. Oh, I was using the... Uh, yeah, I was using the, um... Spear. Rare dual blade. All right, I'll try you. I haven't used these yet. And I gotta put a banner on her. But yeah, that um, that Lego Star Wars game is a thrashing, performance-wise. Also, they all have their own upgrade path. Banners, more banner overhealth, please. Sundering slam. There is a lot to this game, man. It's pretty good. Um, it's it's really fun to play. And uh can't say something. Here, I'll take more might. Mi also, I've got all these friggin' Like, I've got all these from the thing, but I don't think they ever actually applied. Like there, there's no check mark going next to it. I can't get it to uh, apply. Like I'd love to look like this, but it won't actually apply. <sighs> Whatever. This is, there's a there's really solid gameplay hidden underneath a lot of weird it's shit. Orin, no need for ceremony. Okay, that that's an optional dialogue choice that I can do, but like, why? Thank you for the follow, Dirty Burger. Much appreciated. Right. Oh, one sec, I got an email about Rogue Legacy. Yeah, if you guys have any questions in chat on anything I've done recently, um, review-wise. Oh, good. An actual date on when I'm getting the Xbox code. Nice. Thank you. That's always helpful. We are still an Xbox channel. I know I'm doing more and more on my PC, but it's just because PC is what's available. Like, Ayudin Chronicles code um, already being available for me on Xbox is really the rarity. It is not the norm. Um, normally, PC is what you get a month ahead of time. Though I'm really hoping Starfield and Redfall and all those come very early. Bethesda's been good at least two weeks for Redfall and at least a month for Starfield, please. I want to put a solid hundred hours into Starfield and I want to have a month to do that and not a week. Like, I can do it in a week. I don't want to do it in a week. I did that with Elden Ring. Let that be the exception, please. That's better than a Vargul prison camp. I'm sorry, Zenon. This is all I have. 
My mm. friend, you misunderstand. This is the most luxury I've had since the war started. I only regret that I couldn't help you when you fought your brother. It was meant to be. See, now I've got the this avatar on, so I have this voice. We must complete it together. In the end, it will only be him and me. I don't want to master skill in training area. Okay. Lots of back and forth listening to people talk. I swear that looks like she has a mustache. But the fight will be difficult if you don't deal with her captains. Okay, that's fine. I'm just press A. <laughs> Damn. I killed Wraith Lord Decimus. Okay, so I need to kill these mid-bosses, or I can go right for her. I already killed Decimus. Alright, how do I get the... Jesus Christ. Alpha Ran Rancor! Oh, shit. And down here, you can just go and play anything. Exploration mode. So I got to do these hunts, and then... Ah, five Valor Plate Core, five Dragon Seal, 40 Infused Jasper. Level 10, though. All right, let's start the hunts. Difficulty choices. Easy. Normal. Hard. Works for me. Uh, so I'll stay on normal. It's, it's been decently balanced so far. Less Archon Fury charge speed. All right. Holy crap, it's already been almost an hour. So Rancor is not something unique to... I mean, nothing's really unique to Star Wars. He stole almost all of it. The only unique... The only, like, good parts of Star Wars were Lawrence Kasdan and the rest trying to stop the friggin'... George Lucas from being even more of a hack. All right. Oh yeah, twin blades. Woo! Okay, those are cool. I like them. I like speed. Hey, how's it going, Archer Man? You die first. Ow! Jesus Christ! Okay, these things hurt. I'm almost dead already. I didn't see that coming. Oh, this fucking... Holy shit. Eat shit, shield man. Blap! God damn. There's three regular assholes and they beat me up that much. Come here, puppies. Whoa! Whoa, shit. Friggin' lion yell. You take one shot. You can't be that loud. You need to take more than one hit. Oh. It's a solid looking game. Definitely cross gen, but nice. Nice cross gen. Okay, you're gonna take. Ow, Jesus Christ! I got my ass kicked so much. I only level eight. Deflected you, bitch. A lot of fucking enemy. Ow. Got 
Goddamn teleporters. Ow. Boop. When the music kicks in, pretty good. Little, you know, high fantasy. Do Jesus Christ. I guess the way to defeat this weapon is to just slowly walk backwards because I can't keep up with anything. God damn you're teleporting. Oh, I gotta go for the ranker faster, huh? Alright, fine. You guys get to live because this rancor has got a timer on him. Hello, everyone. If you're new here, appreciate a follow. I am working on getting subs up, but if you got a Twitch Prime, instead of spending five bucks, you get to do it for free. And it's much appreciated. Got a sub goal of 20. Be neat to hit. God damn it, that jump attack keeps getting me. Oh, run, idiot, run. They're on the ground. Hit them. Blah. All right, fine. Archon Fury. Ow, my health. Ow. Oh my god. Instantly killed me. Ow. At least checkpoints are very generally quite oh shit. Generous. Oh, there's so many enemies here. I want the Rancor. Are you going to keep following me? No? Okay, good. Thank you. Use the skill. Siphon. Siphon looks good. I got to remember about Siphon. I hadn't unlocked it on this uh, this lady yet. You have anything inside you? Nope. Yep. Why am I wasting time? I only got three minutes. No, I think that timer is just for like extra experience or something, but why not try? You shit, Rancor! Ow, fuck. You're a lot of health. You probably kill me real quick, don't you? Blah. Ow. Well, my siphon didn't work. Fuck. Oh, I got health things. Ow. Jesus Christ. You really hurt. I was pressing A to try and dodge backwards. God damn it. Fuck, I cannot even get far enough away from you. Ow! Jesus Christ. Do I have to block more? Oh 
Oh boy. Okay. You really locked on to me. Jesus, I am trying to block you and that's not working either. Okay, well, Siphon's not doing anything. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Running. Oh, okay. Yeah, one hit. Holy oh. shit. Hey, look, I'm sorry. It's gonna be a long goddamn fight, isn't it? Oh, don't want to hit that. Fudge bunnies. Up. Ah, oh, shit. That's what I get for not looking for one second. God damn it. You are hard. Not getting my movement or my weapon abilities very quickly is real hard. And I went into poison again. Ow. Jesus Christ. I dive just dodge just a little okay and just about dead. I definitely can't seem to siphon you again. Oh, and yeah, he hit me right out of my goddamn ability. Alright. Parried you, bitch. Ow, didn't parry that. He's not dropping any health stuff. Well, and I didn't beat him in the timer. Ow, there goes a lot of my health. Ow. Ow. Get this health. Let me get this health thing, you son of a bitch. Be nice. Nice Rancor. Nice murder kitty. Oh my god, that freaking tail. It, some of their. It's hard to read their moves sometimes, man. No, I'm definitely not getting him this time. More kitties. And dead. Oh boy. Game can be tough with multiple enemies. Wait, lock ons and stuff. Oh, you're here, still alive. Ow. Why is the Rancor's health down still? Ow. My God, I just came back to life. I know you little guys are showing up generally to give me health. Oh my god, I'm pressing friggin' A. This Rancor sucks. He's really hard. No! I hate not ever having any of my cool weapon abilities. Shit. Like, I'm diving there and I still took a hit. And I went in poison. And I'm very smart. Use up all my goddamn health stones already. She goddamn still hit me. I dove away. Ow, Jesus Christ, that was so far away too. Oh, I was diving away. Always try again. 
Because those are the ones... Yeah, I know. It's weird how often I can try again. Oh, boy. Some of these attacks are too magnetic. Ow. This Rancor is the first thing I've fought that just feels... Okay. There's no warning on some of these attacks. Holy shit. There's nothing to indicate that they're attacking sometimes. Okay. When the so when they go red, the only way you can avoid damage is to dodge, which I'm doing, but they, he's still hitting me. Man, I'm in the middle of my charge attack and it just doesn't matter. I only won that because it just lets you keep restarting from directly next to the boss with his health already gone. Weird system, but I'll take it. You gonna tell me what I got? Weird. Normally pops up and says what you got. 4141 Resonant Sledgehammer. Was it a purple amulet? It was. Hmm. Neato. Oh, it does? That sounds very useful, Dirty Burger. You remember which one? <laughs> That'll probably be the one I go for. Because, goddamn, my dodges are just. I was probably dodging backwards, and I needed to dodge left and right on that one, but the um, the speed on the Rancor's attacks is a little over the top for its attack like indications like you'd expect in a Monster Hunter or something. Ah, uh, and okay. That's cool. I imagine by the end game you can get most, if not all, of these. It's not like this is an actual free-to-play friggin' Warframe-like. Yeah, so the the difference with each of them is kind of what their Archon Fury does and their passives. The Archon Fury chooses from a subset, it seems like, but the passives are pretty, pretty different. Yeah, so I've got Valor Plate cores. I just need the filaments to uh, unlock another Valor Plate. All right, well that's one down. Let me uh, let me clear up my inventory. I'll tell you this, the instant, sure, you can just come back at this checkpoint stuff helps a lot. Keeps the frustration down. Because it's early game, it's not like I have a build or anything, you know? Alright, let's go through all these, sort of your water damage. You're at all the greens. The greenest. I've got a lot of Electrum and Sun Steel, but no Dragon Steel. Mm. Ah, level 10. Am I level 10 yet? I don't even friggin' know. <laughs> what level am I? I'm level 9. Okay. I can almost use a level 10 one. Alright, one hunt down. Um... Weird, I thought I already killed Decimus, so it's weird that he's back as a hunt, but... Alright. Less health recovery. Well, that sucks. <gasps> the Vargul Champion. Game is like Warframe mixed with wrestling. Gotta remember, once I hit 10, I can try another one of those Ultimate Edition Legendaries. 
blah, 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 blah. Just spin like a maniac. Yeah, that health gave me almost nothing. God damn it. Hold B to teleport. Woo! Game knows how to look cool. In isolation, none of the textures are like great, but none of them are bad. And they're like, it's a, it's a nice cohesive, good look. Good lighting is a big help. And then the actual Valor plate textures are very good. And that's the main thing you see. That's kind of the Sony thing where a lot of the environment can kind of look shitty. But if your character just always looks really good, it elevates everything else. I mean, just like Kratos and God of War just looks ridiculously good all the time. God damn it. I hate the teleporting. Ow. Take that. I guess, um, if you're new to the channel or anything, we are Xbox era. We'll be having a, uh, we're mainly on YouTube. I do all the stuff on Twitch. So I, I stream most days on Twitch for fun. Uh, something like this, I'm streaming it because I'm reviewing it for the site. I know it's a late review, but the code showed up in my inbox from their PR last night. I was like, oh, sure. Why not? So, um, I'm working on this, uh... Soul Blazers has a couple that Fairy Empire wrote with Shredders and WWE 2K from Jordy. Um, so hopefully he'll get those out soon. We have the, the podcast this weekend. Uh, well, we have a podcast tonight for Halo. You had me at Halo on our YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Eastern. Go over the latest episode and all the newest stuff from the game. Um, so there's a fair amount again this week, which is cool. I, I got to watch those... Uh, map videos they just put out. I'll put those uh, I'll put those up later on stream and watch them. Here, I'll kill you even though I mean you're freaking little one hit wyvern lions. Um in tomorrow's podcast at uh 6 p.m. Eastern every Saturday, the Xbox Era podcast with Spishunik and Sekimakanako. We have Ed Freeze, Xbox legend. How? Pretty much Nick just said, I'm going to send him a DM on Twitter and see if he responds. And we're liked enough, it seems, by people associated with Xbox that he's like, yeah, I'll be on. And that's it. That's all it took. He literally just sent a DM. The guy's super nice. And he's like, yeah, sure, I'll come on. So Ed Freeze is a very kind man, it seems. And he'll be on the show tomorrow, which is super neat. And I've got uh, this Godfall review I'm doing. I'm also working on Rogue Legacy, which will be closer to the 28th. I don't know the embargo on that one yet. And Aiden Chronicles, which launches like next next early May. So I got a long time on that one. But yeah, we, we put up tons of stuff all the time. So youtube.com forward slash Xbox Era. If you just go to xboxera.com, all our stuff is there. So... Every link we got, our website, our YouTube, our in Jordy Run Instagram, it's all there. In our forums. Forum.xboxera.com. Pretty good community. We've even had Phil Spencer post there three times. Mainly just saying thanks for the happy birthdays and stuff, but... He is there, and he was on our freaking show for some reason. Uh, we really are just a bunch of guys doing this in our living rooms. And one lady, my wife. So, yeah, it's it's pretty nuts how it's grown. Really taken off in the last year, especially. And I produce our podcasts, as well as be our reviews editor. So I'm a busy, busy boy. 
You, if you're into the site, you probably see way too much of me and you're sick of my face. I get it. Ow. What can I say? I love the work. Oh, that's like a stun. Got it. Oh, another banner. So yeah, we do a lot. I do quite a bit of it because I've, I've got a very supporting partner in the misses. So I've, I've got the time and be okay from her to spend so much time doing it. Yeah, and oh, I got a bunch of messages, but they're, they're talking about the new Halo encyclopedia that just came out. I'd love to get, but I, I've got the 2000, I got the Halo 4 one over there. So it's tough to just buy a different version of the same book. <clears throat> yeah. And that's like a, that's a give or take. So like it gets really good after the campaign, but a lot of times a review is generally, especially if you're time limited, you're only able to get through the campaign and then you've got to get on to the next thing. And so if you've put enough time and you think you've beaten it, then I get why people be like, oh, okay, I'm good to review it now. Just because it's, you, especially with something new, like the ver the very first reviews for this, um, especially when it came out on PlayStation at launch and there were 95 things to try and review, that's just going to really, um, God damn it. I got to wait for my freaking shield cooldown. That's really going to make it so that, oh, okay, I've beaten the Godfall campaign. I'm ready to review it. And then you find out afterwards, or they add stuff in later patches, and it's like, oh, it really gets good and fun to play after this rather short campaign. But you, you don't, when you're the first person reviewing it, it's, it's tough to know that. Especially if you're in some of the places that really overwork people. And a lot of times it depends just how much time did the dev give you with the game. They didn't give you enough time. Like, even Elden Ring, it was really hard to finish that game. I got to the end boss, but I didn't want my playthrough to run, my playthrough to end. So I tried the end boss, saw what it was like, and then just kept playing and did my review. But I put 70 hours into the game in one week. So, like, it's, it's that tough balance, you know? We're still a volunteer site, putting in those types of hours. We're a, a fan-led Patreon site. Patreon's a tough thing, because you want to push it, but then if you push it too much, people get annoyed. Which I get. I'm the same way with certain things. But I'm not kidding if I do say that by far the best way to support us is on Patreon. Just patreon.com forward slash Xbox era. So anyone watching this live or on the VOD on the Xbox era plays YouTube channel. Really, really does help. The more patrons we can get, the, the more we can stick to our pledge of never doing clickbait. It is funny, Mort, that they try and promote promote things like that that you don't don't make any logical sense. The, the PlayStation has a really good read speed on its SSD. That doesn't make certain games possible that aren't possible on other SSDs. It's just not the way SSDs work. They're reading machines, and the PlayStation 5's SSD is actually really bad at writing. So it's a, it's a give or take. And this game is now obviously on base PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which are very weak machines. So it's just those weird, dumb things that I don't get why. What does Siphon do? I got to figure out what that actually does. Is it for ranged attacks, maybe?
Oh shit, I leveled up. I can use my super sword. Boop. Fall down, bitch. Yes. If you like big, fun, dumb action games, Mort, this one's pretty goddamn fun. It does look nice. I just hate marketing where they lie, and it's really obvious that they lied. And PlayStation was all about, like, Xbox is terrified. They'd love to lie and be able to say shit. They're a corporation. But they're terrified of people yelling at them, so they don't. But Sony doesn't give a shit. Sony will say whatever the hell they want. Because they know people generally are, Oh, I can do augments now. Cool. Augments for possible. Red, green, blue. They can only slot into neutral or matching nodes. Each augment has a power drain amount. Okay. Power usage 20. I've got some augments. Uh, what is this node type? Neutral? Doesn't look like it has a color. I can't tell. It's got a steering wheel on it. All right. Um, shield throw. Shield throw. Parries are good. Hit a weak point good. I don't know what the... I got to figure out... What's the weak point stuff, Dirty Burger? I've got so much I need to learn about this before I write a review. That's at the very least what I try and do with mine. Even if I can't get through an entire game, and it's only happened a few times. Um, like, again, I, with Far Cry 6, I put 50 hours into it in the six days I had. It was crazy. Um, and I got right to the end boss, but that game's enormous. And it was like, I know what's going to happen in the end boss. It's, but friggin'. Ah, weak point attacks that open up after parries and dodges. Thank you. But like, but that game's huge. So I just I was like, I'm going to go do more side stuff and, and unlock more things. And that's going to be better for the review. Like, I always try and be educational with a series of facts just to make sure you know what the game's like while mixing in how I felt while playing it. That's like my approach on it. I'm not, I am a college graduate with a degree in one. I have two associates. I don't know why. They just gave me two. One in sciences, one in arts, and then a bachelor in sciences. I'm very smart. Or, you know, as we call it in America, the bare minimum now. If you don't have a goddamn college degree, no one wants to look at you. So you just have to get it and get yourself in debt. But, um,. Right, I'm not going to use that one yet because I don't have the weak point. I use a shield one. I do the shield throw a lot. But yeah, I, I try to be a mix of educational and... Um, a mix of educational and how things made me feel while I played them. Mm. You can perform a takedown on small... Ah, uh, weak points. There it is. Got it. There. Well, now I could use that augment. All right. And why the hell can I not put on these friggin' cosmetics? Why do I have these things and they're not locked, but I can't actually apply them? Oh, hold A. Fuck me. Everything in this game is hold. Never mind me. I put it on. Gold, silver, or... There's no difference. The hell? Why is there no difference between these two? Oh, because it's the same thing twice. Why is it showing up twice? You silly game. Oh, shit. Complete a round of Lightbringer while you have two greater curses. Reach exalted status with Phoenix. I'm guessing exalted, exalted status is very hard to hit. Gives you, gives you something to keep going after. They like their cool looking weird body horror shit in this game. I dig it. Mort, this game's all right. This game's got a really dumb story that's just not the point. But the actual gameplay, very fun. This is a very fun game to play, and I'm and I know for a fact that uh, I've barely scratched the surface of it. And that's exciting because it's fun now. So if it's fun now, it's probably going to be really fun once I've unlocked more stuff. 
I am, I am pleasantly surprised. I, I'm guessing this game at launch got what it deserved, but right now they've definitely done an Ubisoft style, or you know, really Gearbox. I know they didn't make it, but they published it, um, and they're good about support. So, and that's come through in this game. This game's post-launch support seems very good. Ow. Blap! You little bitch. Dirty Burger, you're a very smart man. How does this siphon work? Like, what does this do? I'm gonna have to look at it again, aren't I? You Nope, you don't suck up range attacks. Boop! <gasps> the best defense! I don't know what that is. But I like being the best. Yeah. Yeah, it, it said something about healing. I was like, oh, I've had some fights where I've been really hard and I'm not healing at all. Let me, uh... It's not doing anything. Oh, it pulled from him and healed me. Okay. That one worked. So if they got shatter on them, uh, it heals you a little. Not a lot. So, uh, yeah, I get your point. You gotta have the shatter built up on them. That makes sense. Holy Christ, I've been playing this for 90 minutes. Yeah, this would be a great Game Pass game because it's um, it's co-op. So those are like the best things for the service. People always say, oh, there's so many co-op games on there. It's like, yeah, they're the best ones to have on it. Ah, I got to aim or something. God damn it, I'm going to die. Ow. Oh, I gotta parry someone. Tried parrying the range thing and then missed by a mile. Weak point, bitch! Got it. Hmm. Shadow of Mordor is one that was Play Anywhere, and I own the full edition of that, and I'm always tempted to install it on PC and try it. Because it never got a... Uh, it never got a... Um, what did that do? Oh, Sunsteel. Nice. It never got a uh, like next-gen patch or anything, so... I really like that game. Um, the end game crushed me. It was so poorly balanced at the start, and I didn't go back after they fixed it. But that's one. Yeah, so, so I've got a really good PC now, Dirty. Um, Mr. Burger. So I'm going through a lot of stuff that I had either play anywhere or um, Game Pass and trying them out again with really good performance. And Shadow of Mordor is play anywhere, so I can just load up the edition I own on Xbox and get, you know, PC performance out of it. And it's an older game, so I'll probably, at 1440p, be able to get, like, 200 FPS or something. Hey, I killed him and healed. That's not too bad. It's not enough healing, though. Probably got to really upgrade it. Eat shit! Boop. Yeah, I... I so I'm in the middle of a couple of games now, like uh, Red Dead Redemption and playing this one for review. I just beat Crackdown. I really am tempted to install Shadow of Mordor because... 
I was like, oh, maybe I'll do another playthrough of Halo, but... I've played Halo in the last... I've played every Halo twice in the last year. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll uninstall that and reinstall uh, Shadow... Or, or install for the first time on PC Shadow of Mordor and try that. That'd be, I think that would be a lot of fun. I really like that game. It just had a completely grind-heavy endgame after you get, like, the first credits roll. And I gave up on it after that. Hey! Leveled. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. It can almost be like her lasso of truth is able to mind control shit. That'd be kind of weird. Health recovery. Is health recovery worth it? You know, while I do that, I'm gonna uninstall Halo the Master Chief Collection because it's 160 gigabytes, and I'm gonna install Shadow of Mordor Deluxe Edition. And that means I'm gonna have to download a Shadow of Mordor... Shadow of Mordor um... Oh, Hitman 3. I gotta finish Hitman 3. That's like the big one. So I've got Back for Blood installed. I just did the the um, review, but that game's really fun, so I want to keep playing it. I got Hitman 3 installed. I have Norco installed because I was in the, like, I need to find a review to do, and then three games showed up out of nowhere. But yeah. I'm, I'm real interested in... Playing through Shadow of Mordor again. Where is it in my library? Direct to Yomi's coming out in a couple weeks. That one, I did the preview of that, and that was really good. I really like that. Oh, there it is. Middle Earth, Shadow of War. I own the Definitive Edition, so let me install that Definitive Edition right now. How big are you? 100 gigabytes. God damn it. Why are they always so big? All right, fine. Install. All right, got that one going. Yeah, the re the the free respects really cool. Just told why, and there you go. Yeah, let's fin yeah finesse down here. Yeah, longer parry window does sound real good. A quick turn attack. All right. Polarity attacks charges by po your power by hand the current weapon when fully charged swap weapons. Okay, that's what polarity attack is. And where the hell are you? Siphon. If you're gonna hold to siphon enemy health over four seconds, vitality increases siphon damage. Defeat a small enemy with siphon to summon a copy of the enemy to fight by your side. That's cool. Hmm. Fully charged siphon seems pretty good. Can you eventually unlock everything? Like, do you get enough points for that, or is it always just a certain amount you can get? Am I going in the right direction? I wasn't even paying attention. Nope. No, whatever. I'll grab this. Yeah, I figured that. And it's per outfit, too, so it's not like it's something you want to hit. I gotta actually pay attention to where it's telling me to go. I do like that you run pretty goddamn fast by default. It's always nice. Ah, oh, here you are, you big shit! That was a good start. Polarity attack. There I dead. All right, why was this one so much easier than the other one? Holy Christ, I killed him in 10 seconds. Why was he so much easier than the other guy? What the fuck? I'll take it. But man, that last boss absolutely wrecked me, and I thought, oh, I must be low level or something. But this one, that was really quick. That was, like, faster than I beat normal enemies. Hmm. That was crazy fast. It is 
weirdly abrupt how missions end sometimes. They don't have like a cool animation or anything. Another lifestone. How are you? How are you, lifestone? How are you? Water damage. I don't think I have any water abilities. I don't, I don't need this many of you. Messages. Oh, it's the missus. Uh, she bought a new keyboard and she tried making it work, but she just didn't like it. I got a new keyboard. I got a um, HP Omen something or other. Ugh, that's about as high as I can get it without yanking the cable too much. And I love it. One sec, and find you a low height mechanical that is all rainbows. She's big on rainbows, but she doesn't like high keys and all mechanical keyboards are pretty much very high keyed. One nice thing about doing a review when something's been out for a while is you can get all the music for it real easy. Because I already have like three gigabytes of me just sitting, standing around with the sound effects turned down, but the music turned up in Ayuden Chronicles because it's the only way I can get music for it. But a game like this has been out so long, I can get the entire soundtrack online, and I always play music from the games behind me when I'm uh, recording or when I'm making a video. All right. Let me go back to uh, Lion Man here. He just looks real cool. Sorry, dragon-ish lady. All right, skills to pay bills. Weak points. Field attack. Um, the thundering. Left bumper in A, left trigger in B. Yeah, there's so many flipping things. Holy Christ. Yeah. All right, gear. That's a level 5. Where's the level 10? I like that pole arm quite a bit. Level 20, level 15, level 10. You are the... I don't need two pole arms. I really do like these dual blades. I'll go with that. And I have one charm now, dude. It would be cool if you could... Uh, polarity, polarity. Oh, Tarkin, okay. Mm hmm... Just be like, equip to all my Valor plates, please. But I imagine that would get really annoying once you are building up actual builds, which I'm nowhere near doing yet. All right. It's weird that they gave me two of the silvers. That's a weird bug. Fine, I'll go gold with you. I don't have any other cosmetics with the Ultimate Edition, do I? Oh, I do. All right. The banner thing, when do you actually, if I have a banner, when does the banner come up? Does it just come up on its own? Yeah, I don't, I, I keep hearing about banners and seeing banner things, but I, it never said anything about how you use it. Jesus Christ. All right. Yeah, they definitely want you to min-max. Yeah, I was just looking at the banners. I was like. They keep talking about banners, but they've never said anything about how you use them. Because this game has a lot of tutorials that don't actually cover all the mechanics. 
Oh, okay, Jesus Christ. That's what up on the D-pad does. All right, thank you. Hey, it's a guy I killed already. I killed you once, Decimus. I'll kill you again. It's really weird that I have to kill you again, but I'll do it. Eventually, there is a lot of attacks to keep hold of. Like, pretty much, it feels like a left bumper and left trigger, and then every face button end up becoming something. Uh, a smart mechanic with how limited you are on buttons. So I've got a pretty darn good PC that's been absolutely perfect lately. I do wonder what this would look like on it. <clears throat> I feel like I bought at the right time. Because I've got a mature platform that I was able to get really discounted. Because all the new stuff's coming out. So they start knocking down the prices. Brand new prices not used on uh, the old platform. So I've got... I bought a... Uh, everything's AMD. Alright, you know what? Let me try this. There we go. I went with the, the AM4 platform and uh, MSI B550A Pro motherboard that on it I put a 5800X um, 64 gigabytes of CL16 3200 megahertz RAM uh, Intel 1 terabyte as NVMe SSD only Gen 3 but I mean Gen 4 is nice but boy is it expensive um, and I, I'll get a Gen 4 for like games and stuff eventually on sale I'm sure uh, the graphics card is uh, an RX 6700 XT, which is really good for video editing, which is the main reason I was getting the computer. It's for um, video editing and hosting things on OBS, the podcast we do. So I bet you with all that, I would be able to uh, run this game fully maxed out at 1440p at a very good frame rate. Oh, doggy needs to go outside. I'll be back in a second. Let me uh, pause this and put the B-Ride back screen up because I'm going to have to take her out to go tinkle. I will be right back. Don't go away.
Ah, okay. That's taken care of. Whew. Hmm. Ah, okay. Thank you, Dirty Burger. You're a better tutorial than the game is. Whoop! Okay. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Sorry you waited so long. I've already beat you once. So it's weird that I gotta do this again, but let's go. It's avoided hits a lot. Ow, god damn it. Well, that wasn't worth it. Now I'm cursed. button. Boop. Ow, god damn it. You know what? Ha! Shithead. Bap! Goodbye, Wraith Lord Decimus. Yeah, there, there's, there's just a ton to this game. It's weird. It's, it's an offline action MMORPG. So, it's got a ton of mechanics like those tend to have, but, uh, you know, just you and one other guy, generally, if you're doing co-op. Co-op's two players, right? God, this end game, this mission complete stuff could be better. You just stand around, don't do anything, and blah, you're gone. The load times are real nice. I say that, now it's just a loading black thing. It's normally faster. Okay. Normally it's a few seconds. That one actually took a little while. All right. I got them all dead. How about this loot I got? I got a better charm. Oh, my goodness. Blind enemies nearby whenever you use your lifestone. That sounds nice. Oh, and I didn't even think to use the banner again. Keep doing that. All right. How are you, weapons? 47. Rare greatsword, dude. Blessing of power. Rare dual blades. I do like the dual blades. 5% weapon technique whenever you soul shatter an enemy. Sure. Why not? And I got a ring. Apply mark of weakness whenever you hit an enemy with a polarity attack. I don't do the polarity attacks very often. Holy crap, it's been about two hours. That's about as long as I normally go, but this is a review, so... I go as long as I want. Because normally I'd be jumping off for review. Though I really do. I do wish I had a 4K60 capture card so that I could capture this gameplay for the review. Which would be, you know, really nice to be able to do. So, yeah. yeah maybe I'll finish this uh, stream off going for this boss. But I'd really like to... Um, Yeah, so it's been about two hours. I think I'm going to call it there. Um, thank you, Dirty Burger, for all the help in helping me understand this vast, large game. Um, it was a lot of fun. I'm sure I'll be playing it uh, plenty more, even after review. I'm, I'm having a really fun time with it. And yeah, I will see you guys later tonight for You Had Me at Halo, 7 p.m. Eastern, over on our YouTube channel. And I will say goodbye. See you later.